Guys, don't judge us. We have new flowers here. They grew up very quickly. But not everything on our property is rainbows and unicorns. Because I got stung by a hornet here. So that was something. Hi guys. We are taking things a little bit slow today. Because we also need to relax, right? We can't just keep working all the time. Mm -hmm. We have to relax. So this is our quiet moment here in the hammock. And it's great. But we're not just relaxing. We already mowed the grass everywhere, mm -hmm. which is a lot of work. Yeah, it is. It's hours of work. Yeah. So we should use the opportunity and walk around because it looks really great when it's freshly mowed. Yeah, it's always so tidy and pretty and it looks like a park around some castle. <laughs> just the castle is missing. Yeah. It's the royal gardens of the King Peter I. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look into my gardens <laughs> with my servant Tommy by my side and We'll see what's there. Okay. Now it's current's time to shine. We have two old shrubs here. This is black currant, which I'm gonna pick now. Then we have red currant, which I'm gonna check later. Last year they didn't have almost any fruits. So let's see if we're gonna be more successful this year. So this has been a big success way more fruits than we had last year and there's still plenty where this came from but now I'm gonna check the red current red currants are looking good as well some of them are only still getting ripe so I left them on the bush for later hopefully we're gonna be faster than the birds Last year they ate the rest of our harvest, but they need to eat as well, so that's fine. Our sour cherry tree is getting red and I can't wait to taste all the cherries. Yeah, but there is still time for them to be ripe. Yeah, but there are other fruits back in the garden, which I think should be ready. Mm -hmm. So let's go check them out. We also have more currants here, black ones, the sweeter ones. And here, a lot of red ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, weeds in the way. Yeah. So it looks very pretty. Uh -huh. And what's interesting is that they are not very well known in the US, it looks like. So yeah, they are very common here in Europe. It's like a main fruit that people have in their gardens, right? Yeah, I remember last year when we planted them, a lot of people were commenting that they don't know them. Mm -hmm. Currants and gooseberries. Oh. And they are both very common here. Yeah, very common. So, I like the look of these. Mm -hmm. So many of them on such a yeah. small shrub. Yeah. And the good thing is that we have different variants, so they don't get ripe at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we can harvest them gradually. This yeah. was the main shrub that we had last year that we harvested and it's only starting to get ripe. Yeah. The balls are smaller as mm -hmm. well. And, and green still. Yeah. So Tommy is really great at choosing the different variants. And now we have the fruits gradually. Yeah. Because I want everything. Me too. <laughs> and we have enough space for it, so why not? Yeah. It's been exactly one year since we planted our first shrubs there was these Kamchatka honeysuckles. I'm not counting the shrubs that we planted together with Peter's parents or the ones they planted themselves. But one year ago, uh, my mom was here visiting us and she let us plant these shrubs ourselves. She just advised us what to do. And that's what kick-started all the planting that started <laughs> at that point. So 
they didn't get much bigger <laughs> in that year but we had our harvest this year from them and yeah it started the journey of planting yeah and we are thinking about transplanting them to another place right yeah because at that point we didn't have any concept so mm -hmm. we just put them here randomly but now we're thinking of planting a regular hedge around uh, this place to hide from our neighbors mm -hmm. so we might need to move them somewhere else because they don't grow very tall so we would still be visible even years later when they get maybe this tall yeah guys don't judge us <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't look very pretty. <laughs> These are our potatoes hidden in weeds. Weeds are everywhere because we don't care. It would be too much work, right honey? I care, but there's just too much of everything and we can do everything if we don't retire or something. Yeah. <laughs> but the potatoes are growing, uh -huh. there are flowers, so maybe soon they will be ready. Here we have a few tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, four. <laughs> you can see them. Four plants hiding here. Those were just extra, we didn't want to throw them away, so we yeah. put them here. Yeah, and look at our poppy seeds. They are Ooh. growing as well. But this is not the correct way to do it because we should you know like single them out single them out yes so there are less of them but they have bigger heads but it's not happening because that would be too much work and this was just a fun experiment yeah so we'll see and here potatoes again We're curious if the harvest's gonna be big or if we'll get like two potatoes out of one plant. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't really matter. This whole area is supposed to change and we are not going to plant anything next year here, like veggies, mm -hmm. I mean. But we want to plant shrubs. We already started there, here, a few of them. And we will continue. There are three sour cherries here and three Saskatoon berries here. Mm -hmm. Very tiny. Yeah, but hopefully they're gonna grow quickly. Yeah. Tell us why this is so overgrown with weeds. This is the place where we had a big pile of rocks. And when these guys were building the fence, they removed the rocks. So they kind of extended our garden. And since there was nothing growing here at the time, we decided to plant the potatoes and poppy seeds and everything. But the soil was just full of seeds of the weeds. So, you know, it immediately started growing back. Mm -hmm. So I think next year we'll just extend our lawn and have a bigger one. So we'll keep mowing it regularly. We won't plant any vegetables here. We will continue planting the shrubs and maybe in the future i would like to have a greenhouse here mm -hmm. that would go well with the garden beds yeah so we'll see and speaking of saskatoon berries we planted two shrubs last year and one of them already has fruits yeah and they seem to be ripe look yeah. i remember it should be sweet and it is sweet <laughs> i love it so it's not like currants right no this is my uh, favorite kind of fruit, mm -hmm. sweet ones. Yeah, because you can just eat them like that. You don't need to put them into anything. You don't need to add sugar, mm -hmm. so that's good. Yeah, and they look like blueberries. They kind of resemble blueberries. Mm -hmm. They're not exactly the same, obviously, but yeah, they're great. Yeah. There are only a few fruits again, because it's a tiny shrub. So we're gonna harvest it and eat it all right now. There's no need to bring a bowl and store it for later because there are like five fruits. <laughs> yeah. Yum. But this is so great to have different kinds of fruits. And this is not very well known here. Uh -huh. You probably know it better because it's from North America. So we have currants and gooseberries and you guys have Saskatoon berries, I guess. Oh. But now we have everything, so we win. I love to have everything. Yeah, me too. 
and we planted like 15 more shrubs of Saskatoon berries this year. So next year's harvest should be even better. Yeah. I love that during summer there's always something to harvest, something to eat. Mm -hmm. You know, like one kind of fruit ends and the next one starts. Yeah. Yesterday Tommy mowed the field again, so it looks amazing. And I mowed our yard. This is the meadow that my mom created last year and now the flowers appeared. So that's great and they are very colorful. Mm -hmm. I love these ones. Yeah, they look very bright. Yeah. And it took us the whole day, of course. So yesterday it was a mowing day. Yeah, but I noticed that the part that we kept mowing last year is growing slower. So I was mowing that one after four weeks, yeah. while the rest of the field was after two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I think next year we'll be able to make bigger intervals between mowing. Yeah, it's getting better. We already showed you our flower meadow, but look, we have new flowers here. And they are so beautiful, I absolutely love them. Mm -hmm. I love the color and <laughs> it looks amazing. A bumblebee came. Yeah, and here we have a honeybee. They love it here too. And you might have noticed these huge pumpkins in the background behind Peter. They grew up very quickly. Very violently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the funny thing is that these three that you can see that they are so huge started here from seed. I tried before planting uh, some of them in the pots and then replanting them here and most of them died out. So I started new ones from seed and they are doing really well. Yeah. And the ones which I planted from pots are still small. So we'll see. There are some zucchinis there, which I replanted from a pot and they are small. They were partially eaten by slugs as well. So we'll see if we have any zucchini this year. But they are growing, they yeah. are getting bigger. Maybe it will just take more time. I see there are some flowers here starting already. So maybe we'll have a couple of zucchini. Mm -hmm. We have more potatoes here. We planted them in hay because there is this furrow and we just wanted to experiment more and they are growing, so it looks nice. And I don't know, they do well. Yeah, we'll see if there are any potatoes hiding under the ground or not, which is just a nice plant, but it's just an area that we don't use for anything. So it's just a fun experiment again. Yeah, because we wanted five kilograms of potatoes to plant and the minimum amount to buy was 25 kilograms. So why not plant them wherever and we'll see what happens. Yeah. And we ate the rest because it was just too much to plant. Yeah. <laughs> we also created a little new island here made of blackberries. We bought eight plants which we planted here. So this is gonna be our blackberry island. <laughs> We planted it in the grass, so we had to mulch it again and you can see that the grass is growing back. So we have to maintain it so that the blackberries would have enough space to grow. But it looks like they're doing well for now. Yeah, I love our little islands. Yeah. You can see more of them in the field and yeah. it looks pretty. And now that it's freshly mowed here, you can see them pop out more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that there are these areas, you know, various islands and corners because it's starting to get more cute or I don't know how to describe it, not just an empty field. Uh -huh. You can see it slowly transforming into a garden or orchard or meadow or whatever it's gonna yeah. be, a mixture of these three. Mm -hmm. And with these little islands or areas, you can imagine what it's gonna look like in the future. Yeah, we are going to plant more. Mm -hmm. This is one of the first shrubs we planted last year. It's mulberry and it's so tall already after one year. It's amazing. It's supposed to be a big shrub or a, even a tree and it's starting to bear fruits as well. Just very few and tiny ones. So I'm not sure if you're gonna see them, but that's just a bonus for us. 
There are some red fruits I can see, which means they're not ripe yet because they're supposed to go black for this variant. There are some red variants or white variants as well, but this is the black one. And we've already tasted a few of them, but there were like 10 fruits in total on mm -hmm. this trip this year. Yeah, and they are smaller than they are supposed to be, so yeah. I expect in the coming years they will be bigger. Yeah, and we'll have more of them. We already planted more shrubs of uh, mulberry in the hedge, so we're gonna have a lot of fruits in the end. Yeah. But not everything on our property is rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> Look, this is our nectarine tree and it lost all its leaves because of some illness. Now it's growing back, so hopefully it's gonna survive. This is a fresh one. But yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna grow much this year. But this pear tree looks to be completely dead. No leaves left. We don't use any chemicals, so if it gets infected by something, then it has to fight on its own. In this case, there were aphids brought by ants to the top. Even though we used these little glue things to prevent this from happening, it didn't help completely because there were so many ants that they just completely filled it mm -hmm. with their bodies and then the alive ones continued climbing up. They brought the aphids to the top and they sucked the juice out of the tree. Yeah, but I don't know if it's just the aphids or something else as well, because I don't know if yeah. aphids could destroy the tree completely. Maybe they can. I thought they could if it's a new small tree, which is not very strong. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know, maybe there was some illness as well. Yeah. And some of the shrubs died as well, like this one. We think it's caused by a mole, because every time we find a dead shrub, there's a hole in the ground. Mm -hmm. And we know there is a mole here. So that might be the reason. Yeah. Originally I thought it was my fault that I didn't plant the shrubs correctly. We thought that maybe the soil had to be pushed down more. But it's always the same story. Whenever there is one looking like this, there's a hole. Yeah, big hole right underneath it. Mm -hmm. And we think the mole is eating the roots or something. Yeah, or maybe as it passes by, you know, as it's uh, digging the hole, mm -hmm. it damages the roots because they are very weak at this point, because these are new shrubs. That might be it as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So there is nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Just plant new ones. But we have to count with casualties when we plant so many trees and shrubs. Mm -hmm. In the past year, we've planted almost 200 shrubs. Yeah. So if there are like five dead shrubs, it's not such a big deal, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the part of our hatch where we used cardboard boxes to cover the weeds and to prevent them from growing. And it seems to be working. You can see some weeds growing uh, in between the lines where there is no cardboard box, but it's definitely much better than here. This part was completely overgrown and I had to mow it. It was much taller than the shrubs, <laughs> so we couldn't even see them anymore. Yeah. So now it looks much better, I think. It does. But I had to stop at that part. You can see it's not mowed because I got stung by a hornet here. Oh my God, my poor baby. Yeah. It looks like they have a nest in the ground. I only saw three hornets, fortunately, so I only got stung once, but it still hurt like hell. <laughs> Tell us what happened exactly. I was mowing here and I went to this part and suddenly I got stung in my leg. I had no idea what was happening, but then I looked and I saw the hornet. So I quickly ran away. I kept the mower here <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't care about it. And then I returned back and I saw three hornets circling around the mower. So I was thinking how to... Oh, a hornet. <laughs> So I was thinking how to free the mower, but they kept circling around it. So I just, you know, quickly ran there and took it away. <laughs> and then I just had to skip this part and move further away. So I'm not mowing here this year anymore, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but I read that at the end of the year, like in September, they all die out. 
and the queen then moves somewhere else and uh, she starts a new nest mm -hmm. at a different place. So I guess at the end of the year we can mow it here as well. Yeah, and we read that it's good to have hornets mm -hmm. uh, on the property because they eat mosquitoes and flies and yeah. stuff like that. And you saw one in action? Yeah. Just yesterday I was sitting here in the field just enjoying the surroundings and a hornet flew in all of a sudden and it caught a honeybee. So that's not the best. It wasn't a fly or something, but a honeybee. It bit into the honeybee and then just casually flew away with it. Wow. Yeah, so that was something. going on here? I thought cherry picking was over. Me too. <laughs> but we realized we have this second cherry tree and it's different kind of cherries. They're kind of small and it's a letter variant. So it's only getting ripe now. And they're kind of tiny so I don't think we'll be able to use our cherry stoner. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll just eat them raw as they are. But it would be a pity not to try them out, right? Yeah, and there are so many of them again. Yeah. And they're not as destroyed by birds as it was with the first tree. Mm -hmm. Maybe because there's so much fruit everywhere now that they scattered around. Yeah. Uh, but they're small, so it takes longer to pick them or you need to pick more of them. So it's the usual balance in life so that nothing would be too easy. Yeah. <laughs> but they are still tasty, right? Uh -huh. I tried them. Do you want some? Mm -hmm. How are they? They are sweet. Yeah, really good. Much better than the stupid currant, right? <laughs> yeah. Just sweet, <laughs> no sour taste. Yeah, why do we need sour taste <laughs> uh, fruits? Because we want everything. <gasps> okay, that's true. This would be boring if everything would be sweet. But they are really good. I would prefer them without the pits. You know, <laughs> like you could just eat them and don't care about anything. But yeah, like you said, nothing is perfect. It's part of the fun. Yeah. You need to deserve your food. Okay. been really dry so far so we need to water everything regularly and I'm really glad we made the water pump work last year so that we are ready to take care of everything this year uh, this is Halloween pumpkin that's what we call it it has a different name as well we tried planting it last year as well but we didn't have any fruits because we planted it in the middle of the grass and it didn't have enough minerals or something it's not doing very well so far it's still quite small we'll see if we're successful this year i love how many currants and cherries we have especially the cherries that's an unexpected surprise but a pleasant one yeah look at this turnip so big and amazing it looks so great one carrot <laughs> We thought we would have two, but the other one didn't look good. Yeah, and I took one onion just for fun. 
Yeah, because we don't eat that much onion. So that's enough. Here we have lettuce, of course. And more lettuce. No, yeah, more lettuce and mm. spinach. And here aragula and dill. So that's very nice. But this is the prettiest. <laughs> Look at it. I have to show it to you again. Cherries. And these are totally different cherries. Mm -hmm. Smaller ones and like totally different variety. And these black currants. These are the tastier of the currants, but still sour. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take it all with us to Brno because we have to leave soon. But we'll be back again and harvest more. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so until then, bye. Bye.